Hi ladies and gentlemen, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to the main frame group YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss Cobol program for writing the float triangle. What is a float triangle? Float triangle is a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle in which in which this angle will be of 90 degree. And it contains the conjugative natural number like top left corner will contain the 1 and like it is in the first line and in the second line there will be two three and in there will be third line then it will uh, then there will be fourth line then there is fifth line so it is all in the incrementing order all number are natural number are incrementing order so we are using here five lines so we can say it five line fluid triangle fluid triangle and for that triangle we are using the input as 5 for the for COBOL program for writing the 5 line flow triangle ok and if we want to use the like uh, 6 line flow triangle 6 line flow triangle for that we have to use input as 6 ok and uh, we actually before going into the program COBOL program for writing the flow triangle we must be aware of these some aspects like we have width of width pointer option in string so string actually we use to concatenate the multiple string using the delimiter using the delimiter into the final string and we are using here with pointer option to point how many how many byte we have stored already into the final string so it will tell you what's the length of the new concatenated uh, final string okay for example we have here example like we have taken working storage section and in this section we have string 1 string 2 string 3 okay and we are using here string uh, statement and this string statement will concatenate the string 1, string 2, string 3 into the final string and also using the with pointer option with this variable ws pointer. So for this string 1 we are using the slash mean it will del it will delimit it by the slash. So what how many byte string 1 will uh, of string 1 will move into the final string. So it is 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay. A last 8 is here space or blank. And string 2 it will it is it is storing by size. So it will store the uh, 12 byte like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. And last ws the string 3 is uh, delimiting by space so it will store like 21 22 23 24 25 26 and so our ws pointer will store the 26 plus 1 so it will contain the 27 length we have also created one video for this string and uh, with with pointer option so you can see the result into that video i will provide the link for that video in the description box and for that like whole program so we have to use the like b and g also z also in the fit close so b means we have this space in certain character like if we are giving the numeric so if we are giving here b b so it means we will have the space and if we are giving the like b in the al alphanumeric so it will be also spaced if we are giving g it means we are pressing the zero zero character or zero numeric into the pick clause okay like we are giving input one two three so it will give one two three if we are giving zero 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 so it will not display as zero it will suppressing the zero zero so it is only giving us the uh, in the output as one two three only so let's now go to the program so we are creating the uh, one uh, cobol program for writing the fluid triangle so in this triangle we have some variable like num line so it will con this is our like input 
input variable in which we are going to uh, tell how many line we need for the flight angle like uh, we are we have five so like for this like we have here we are printing here two fluid triangle one is for five and one is 14 line so we are printing here two fluid triangle okay and then we have the current line it means if we like we we have we are using here uh, loop so for that we are tracking with it with the current line means whether we have reached to the first line or second line or third line so it will it it will store that uh, like pointer you can it counter you can see and like we have used here two num line so like we are we are printing the two two num line so there will be two fluid triangles so you can see here like first uh, triangle first triangle contain the five line and next triangle contain the 14 line according to the num line which we have provided here okay and then we have the current column it will track the current column means uh, which column we are writing currently like first column in this line or second column or third column or fourth column or fifth column so on okay and next we have the current num means what current number we are printing like uh, we are printing in this one and in this line we are printing two and three in this line we are printing four and fifth five like that okay and then we have the zero skip it will actually check the leading zero in the maximum column number and we have the line pointer means which which line what will be the line pointer then maximum number so we have the it is outline so it will actually display our output triangle you can see and we have then one digit two digit three digit in this we are using like b9 and in the two digit we are using bg9 and in the three digit we are using b double g9 and maximum column number contain the 9999 so okay so if we go to the procedure division let's go to the procedure division here is procedure division and we have also put some display horror here in the program you can see here we have begin so we are passing the 5 into the input parameter num line and so we are printing here two fluid triangle but we will talk about we will talk about the this only here uh, in this COBOL program but we can later talk about the 14 or you can understand it understand it yourself so like uh, we are we have print we have moved the 5 into the num lines we are it means we are going to print the 5 lines uh, fluid triangle and then we are going into the perform like we are going to fluid paragraph and in this we are we have moved the one number to the current number okay uh, then we are computing the maximum number means how many number we we can print like num line num line is we have given the 5 so its value is also 5 it is plus 1 so divide by 2 so it will be 3 5 star into 3 it will be 15 so maximum number is 15 for the uh, for the flow first fluid time you can see here it is 15 maximum number is 15 okay and then we are going to perform the fluid line so current line current line we are checking with the num line okay num lines means we have the five num lines so maximum will be five so what here checking we are like we are giving here it will our rule loop will work like that, that one two three four five so uh, for the first line like for the current line we are giving one here and we are going into this para fluid line and we are moving space to the outline and one to the line pointer and performing the fluid number <laughs> and here we are checking the current column with the current line like we have passed here current line is one okay and we our current column is also one so after that it will go here and we it will compute maximum column number so in the maximum column number like in maximum number over there 15 so we have here 15 and num lines num, num lines are like num lines are maximum 5 so we have given minus 5 then it will be current cursor is 1 you can see current cursor is 1 
so it will be 1 here so it will contain 0 11 then we have moved the 0 to 0 skip and then we are using the inspect whether like there is leading 0 or not for this maximum column number so it has 1 so 0 skip will contain the value 1 here then we are displaying the maximum number maximum column number meaning what is maximum column number here it is 0 11 okay and in 0 11 and it is what is 0 skip it is 1 so you can see it in the output like we have printed here maximum column it is a 0 11 and 0 0 0 1 0 skip is 1 so after that we are checking the if condition so 0 skip is equal to 0 no this condition is false so then it will check 0 skip is equal to 1 yes it is 1 so it will go into the fluid 2 digit para so in the fluid 2 digit para we are moving the current number what we have moved here like we have moved the 1 this is top left number we are which we are going to move manually so it will we will move the one so it will move to the two digit so two digit uh, like it will contain the one okay and after that we are we are using the string for uh, delimiting it by size into the outline so what it's what we are doing like two digit two digit is contain like space and then there was g and then there was uh, like then there is one like we have moved the two digit contain the one value so we have space space then one and so it will uh, outline will contain the space space one and line pointer will contain the length of this outline so it will be plus one three plus one it will be four so when we are printing the display here like two line pointer line pointer means we have how many length it contains so it has four outline has the four length so it will you can see here in the output so we have two first and then there is four then it contains the one uh, means our our two digit and uh, outline contain the one one you can see here and after that like our this paragraph is completed there is no statement then it will go to this statement then it will increment the current number one plus one with the two okay then if this para is also completed then it will come again here then it will check the current column current column will increment with the one so it is two two with the one current line so 2 is greater than current line so it is true so it will it, it is true so it will not go into the fluid num then then it then it will go into the next statement so it will display the outline whatever we have to print for the fluid triangle so it will print the here you can see we have print the one first first number you can see here and for the like no like we have to choose the second line so in the second line okay we have now initialized the outline and then we are giving the line pointer one and then performing the fluid number like uh, with the current column from the one so it will again check the, with the one current column will be one and current line will be two now it will become two so what will happen our this fluid num will run with two times you can see so for the current column 1 so it will have the 0 11 so we are moving 0 to the 0 skip and then you can see here it will contain the 0 11 okay because current column will contain the 1 and it will become 0 11 and then it will check leading 0 yes it has 1 so it will go into the fluid 2 digit and in the fluid 2 digits we are moving the current number no current number is 2 so we may we will move the 2 here and it will contain the 2 here now and in in this you can see two digit contain the space 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 sorry space and zero space and then two here and our outline will also contain the space and then zero space then two so in it will it will move into the outline and line pointer will contain the four byte like one two three and one plus one so it will contain the four byte line pointer there will be four and two digit will be two and it will contain also two out you can see here maximum column contain 0 11 and 0 0 1 and two this two uh, display contain the line pointer line pointer is four 
and then two digit contain this two and and this also two okay and so statement are ended here no statement statement are available in this para then it will go to this statement and it will add the one to the current number to one so it will be three okay and uh, now it will come out of this uh, fluid num and then it will check here uh, it will increment the current column with the one one okay two so it will check two is greater than uh, current line it is false so then it will go again into the fluid num and in fluid num it will check maximum number minus num number and current column is two so it is now 0 12 so 0 skip will be we are in 0 and it will inspect the leading 0 here and here you can see maximum column by it will now contain the 0 12 and 0 skip will contain the 0 0 1 you can see here maximum column 0 12 and 0 0 1 so now what will happen so it will check the condition and so this condition is true so it will go again into the ploy 2 digit and in the two digit we are we have to move the current number so current number is three so it will move the three to here two digit will contain now uh, three value okay space and then zero space then three so here in we are concatenating the uh, two strings space space and they will contain it three three delimited by size into the outline so like uh, outline already contain space space two then it will move the again uh, uh, another two digit space space three okay and so it will have like one two three four five six and it will plus one so it will have the seven seven line so line pointer will contain all this seven seven value okay if i will show you here two display so here you can see two zero zero seven then like uh, our current two digit contain the three value and then like uh, our outline contain the two and three so uh, okay uh, this this para is completed now it will it will add the plus one to the current number so it will now become four and uh, now it will come here it will increment the current uh, current line current column with the plus one so it become three Three will take three is greater than current line. Yes, it's true. So it will not go in this para no fluid num and it will display the outline. You can see here it will print the outline here. Two three. Okay. So uh, like then it will choose the uh, third line and for the third line it will again process the same same procedure and so it will do continue so like uh, for uh, like whatever like we have given here outline so this is our outline which will print the fluid triangle so like for uh, for first line it contain the one for second line it is contain the two three four for third line it contain the four five six and for the uh, fifth uh, for the fourth line it contain the seven eight nine ten and for the fifth line it contain the eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen okay so in uh, so we we our process end here and next we can check with the uh, 14 line fluid triangle that you can see here okay i think that's all from my side thank you guys that's all from my side if you have any question or any query you can comment that comment into the comment box and uh, please like the video and subscribe the channel